Um, sh- Shalom, all praise and glory to Yahweh. Bashim, Yahweh, Bashim, Kakadash. Uh, double honors to the elder apostle Gabe Millstone. Citation, you can teach all truth and sincerity. Um, this is going to be called um, Edomite's Judgment, um, Extermination. Um, so, um,. <clears throat> This is Ezekiel chapter 35, verse 1. It says, Moreover, the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, let thy face, Salaki, um, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it, and say unto it, Thus saith Yahweh power, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. So, um, you know, the red Hebrew Edomite, Esau Edom, um, your whole nation is, is going to be desolate. It's going to be um, brought low down to a, a low state. You know, you're going to be put in captivity. And after you serve captivity under the Israelites, you know, after, you know, a thousand years of being under us, um, you're going to, you know, what's, what's the word? You're going to be brought, you know, gathered together like sticks and be put in a big bonfire, you know, um, because after a thousand years of you building up our kingdom and us, uh, put having our foot on you, and us, you know, what's the word, paying you back for the, you know, the atrocities you have done to our people. You know, we're not gonna need you after that. You know, you're gonna be taken out of existence because you basically are uh, a vile man, and, and you know. Uh, like the like the scriptures say, he shall have judgment without mercy, who showed no mercy. And mercy was yours against, you know, judgment, because he basically had no mercy towards the Israelites. And when he we get the kingdom, we're not gonna have mercy towards him, because he showed no mercy to us and to the to the earth. You know, he he was a, a what's the word? When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. When the wicked bear fruit, the people mourn. While he was in rulership, everybody was in mourning. You know, you know, everything was dying. The earth, like when the righteous get into that power scene and we're we're on the throne, everybody's gonna be rejoicing. Heathens is gonna live better lives. Animals are gonna live and and live longer. That you know they can be very happy when we get in rulership because we're not gonna be you know, uh, terrorizing nature, you know, we're going to, uh, you know, be more attentive and, and cultivate nature and make sure nature is cool, make sure uh, the people are cool, even though they're going to be under us, we still going to make sure that they cool. That way, when, you know, we in rulership, there's no complaints. It's all, all there is, is praising the Lord, they're praising the Lord, and they're praising us. For being empowered, and how amazing it is for, that we're empowered. While Esau, he's gonna, our kingdom's gonna be his hell, you know. Anyway, um, I'm gonna be verse four. It says, "I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and shall know that I am Yahweh, because thou." 